Okay. Um, not quite what I was expecting. What's good, Houston? It's your boy, Coley Cole. We back one more again, man, in the saddle. Hey, man, check this out. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. That way you can stay locked in for more content coming your way about what's popping and dropping here in Houston when it comes to some good food, fam. Hey, but check this out, man. We got some real special today, all right? We got a place called La Ola. And this location is 2111 Spring Cypress Road, Suite 10, Spring, Texas, 77388. Fam, I'm trying to tell you. Now, La Ola specializes in not Brazilian, not Dominican, not even Mexican. Colombian food fam, some good old South American Colombian cuisine. So check this out, man. I'm not gonna hold up too much. Let me tell you a little bit about what we got, all right? So today, we are gonna be having some arroz acolado, which is basically some fried rice with a whole bunch of different meats and chicken, beef, uh, pork ribs, all them kind of fixings and whatnot. And, we, and then uh, we gonna have the morcilla, which is the blood sausage in the fam. I ain't never had blood sausage before, but uh, I've been hearing a lot about it. Stayed away from, stayed away from it from years because blood sausage, I'm not eating blood, but hey, it's, it's on the menu. A lot of people eat it from what I hear. So like, you know what, let me see what this is about. Let me see if this is good that would merit people eat something called blood sausage. You dig? So I'm gonna let y'all know today what it's hitting on. All right, then we got the empanada. Come on, we gotta have the empanada, that good old meat patty. That, you know what I'm saying? If you're Jamaican, that good old beef patty. You know what I'm saying? A chicharron con arepa. That is, come on, chicharrones. Come on, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that pork belly cub with that thing all fried up. And you know what I'm saying? Got that, that fat cap and then that, 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 that crunchy, crispy skin on top. Hey, let's see if they're gonna live up to the reputation, all right? And then we're gonna end it out with like a little uh, chorizo con arepa, which is basically uh, Colombian sausage. You know what I'm saying? Colombian sausage. Without further ado, let's get into the food, all right? We gotta stay in our bag. Or oh, in this case, our bags. You know what I'm saying? So, Cause we got two for the price of one. Well, no, we just paid everything. Oh, and let me tell y'all, are those atolado, that was like a platter thing. That was like $15.99. The morcilla, well, for, for one of them, if you, get the, if you get it with the papa criolla, which is the, uh, the potatoes, the yellow potatoes, that it's um five fifty. But if you get the other side, then it's just four fifty. Empanada is one fifty. The chicharron is five fifty again, and then then the coros, the chorizo con arepa is three dollars. All right, and that all came out to thirty one dollars and forty nine cent before tax, and then with the little three percent tip, not yeah, the ten percent tip. And the taxes came up to thirty-seven twenty-four. All right, not too bad, not too bad. So let's go ahead and see what this is hitting on. Let's see what this is. Ooh, it's that blood sausage, fam. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, it don't smell like blood. I mean, right, what food would smell like blood? But it don't smell. You wouldn't think if you didn't tell me this is blood sausage, I wouldn't have any. Rec I, it wouldn't even process that. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, look, it smell good. It kind of look like um, you from the country. You ever had uh, liver pudding? It kind of look like cooked liver pudding. It's what it's like or boudin, you know? Okay, that good meat patty. Okay, a lot different from you know the meat patties at the Dominican place, and a lot different than Jamaican places I've been. The, the, the texture, feel, totally different. We're going to see what a Colombian meat patty is like. All right. And next, we got, oh, that chicha, Ooh, strong taste. Strong smell, I mean. That chicharron, that chicharron, eh? Yeah. We about to see, and they got you know, the little, you know, flower patties or whatever. But see what it hitting on, cool. Okay, and this is the, the Colombian sausage. You know, not as intimidating or as impressive as the blood sausage. 
But it's still like it's gonna be a nice little tasty bite. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then here's some some um dips. I guess this is kind of like you know some garnish or whatnot. All right. Last but not least, this, this this got a little weight to it right here now. Is that rice? Ooh, fam. Look at that. <laughs> The arroz. You know what I'm saying? That good, that's a good rice. Got the plantains, got the little salad right there on the side, little fresh salad. You know what the fried rice? I don't know what you need a salad for. If you're eating fried rice, you might as well, the, the salad don't even mean that. I don't know if you're supposed to mix this all in, but hey, you know, I see what you was going with it. It's a pretty presentation. You know what I'm saying? You eating your little, you know, your, uh, your rice, all your meats and fixing. Maybe you want a little refreshing salad, you know, something to cleanse your palate, something a little lighter. I get it, I get it. But watching your calories, fam, and then you ain't gonna do that. All right, that rice gonna tax you. Without further ado, let's see what should I do first. You know what? The thing that I'm most scared of is that blood sausage. So I'm gonna conquer my fears and go for that first. Let's go for that blood sausage and see what it's hitting on. All right. Yeah. All right. La Ola's blood sausage. Let's taste. Y'all know dang where well, I ain't about to put this sausage in my mouth like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm from the old school. I didn't have toxic masculinity, you, you, you know, entrenched in me. I'm, I'm traumatized. I cannot just put this in my mouth straight up. Call it what you want. I gotta break a little piece off. Gotta break a little piece off. All right. Just like this. <laughs> and I'm gonna taste it. All right. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> it's her blood. Let's taste, man. You know what? Not bad. Flavor wise, not bad. Texturally, it's like, I know it's supposed to be blood, you know, or some kind of, you know, whatever. It's the texture that kind of is like throwing me a little bit. Like, when I think sausage is a certain texture, like ground up meat, this feels a bit organy. You know what I mean? Like, it's some hearts or some lungs or something up in here. Like, something that come from inside you is, is in this. Like, like stuff. It, it, it feel like that. So, it's kind of like throwing me the texture, but. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. I mean, it's not my favorite. It's not something I just, you know, my thing. It's not my thing, really. But uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's try one of these little potatoes, potato rounds, like little baby potatoes. Mm. Okay, good. You can, see, you can see the light salt on it. It's been lightly salted. It's very visually apparent, but I could use a little bit more salt. But it's not bad, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like a lot of salt, so, you know, I think it's just cooked perfectly for the uh, general public. Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and keep it going with the sausages. I tried the blood sausage, not bad. Now let's try the Colombian sausage. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, this is a little shorter. He ain't, he ain't packing like the last, last one. No, he hurting a little bit. But it's okay. It ain't, it, it, ain't, it ain't the uh, size of the sausage, so they say it's, it's uh, how you eat it. I don't know. <laughs> Let, let's taste. At least that's what people want to believe. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know, bro. Oh, other buddy might have been hanged. He might have been hung. But this one here got all the flavor, fam. It's a much more enjoyable experience. Mm, yeah, I guess size really don't always matter. All right, this, this little thing right here, packing way more punch than that uh, Louisville Slugger over there, that blood sausage. All right, let's take some of these, um, what is that, leper? This part, I think, makes like a potato, potato patty. Mmm. 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 Yeah, mmm, I'm trying to. 
Okay. Imagine a real super thick like tortilla chip. A round tortilla chip, but like, it's made with the corn, like the cornmeal or something. Tastes kind of like a tortilla chip, only it's moist and kind of kind of soft. It's just it's, you know, it's got some rigidity to it, but you see on the inside, you know. Just imagine a super, a super, super, super thick, moist, not super moist, but you know, moist compared to a tortilla chip. You know, yeah, it's a thick, you know, moist tortilla chip, the best way I can say it. Not bad, not bad. Oh, all right. Let's finally see what's up with that Colombian meat patty uh, uh, empanada. Ooh, that's crunched. Ooh, look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, visually, looking at it, I'm a little disappointed because meat patties I know, the empanadas I know, they full of meat. They got a little bit of meat and a lot of potato. You know, you already got the, the starch on the outside. What you need more starch on the inside for, oh, man? Just saying, like, I don't know, but let's taste. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Not a bad flavor. Not a bad concept. It actually, it works. They use a little bit more seasoning for you to put all the potatoes in there. And your meat. The meat does have some strong flavor, but there's so much potatoes, they need a little more seasoning to be a perfect bite. You know what I'm saying? But it's good, enjoyable. I'm out and about. I'm about dipping in some of this stuff. I don't know if I'm supposed to dip it in this. Let me see what this stuff smells like. Ooh. It's strong. It's, it's, it's like a watery pico de gallo. That's the best way I can describe this. A watery pico de gallo. De gallo. All right. Let's taste it with this stuff. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. I woke it up a lot. Mm-hmm. I can dig it. I can dig it. But uh, let's move on to the next thing, all right? Got this chicharrones, huh? No but that cool. All right, let me break a little piece off, cuz break me a little piece off. Mm. Look at that. Uh, nah, I want one. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna show off. Ah, here we go. Bam. See that little fat back right there? Mmm. That thing greasy and that little crunchy right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. La Ola is keep that on there. Let's taste. Hours later. Mm. Okay. Um, not quite what I was expecting. Not horrible. I couldn't finish chewing it, man. It was a lot of fat, but it wasn't in the in the way that you really like. It wasn't bad, but like. The meat on it was like really chewy and kind of hard. It was like I was expecting like a denser, like like a, like a dense meat, but then like the less dense fat, and then you just put two together and it creates this perfect thing. But it was like it was too much of everything. Like the fat was a little too dense, too thick, and then the chewing and the, the flavor wasn't all the way there. So now it's like I'm laboring to try to chew this thing, and I'm looking for okay maybe the, you know for the, the the actual meat part to kind of you know balance it but it don't because it's actually 
even harder, it's even thicker, and it's just crispy. And that's not really flavored all the, flavored all the way either. So it's like, it, 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 you know, you're chewing this thing in your mouth, and it's like, dang, you thinking that, do I really want to swallow this? Do I really need these calories? But I'm mean, all the work I'm putting, you know, I'm having time to think about all this, fam. Like what I'm chewing, and it's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. The teacher on as I can kind of pass on that, you know. Wasn't what I expected. That was one of the things I was most excited about, but yeah, it's not my, it's not for me. The teacher is not for me. But we still got one more thing to try. We got that platter. And um, we're going to see, you know, if this redeem the teacher on there. Because remember, this right here is a pretty good looking dish, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. All right. I'm just gonna give me a scoop of this rice. With that salt. Nah, I'm gonna get some of that meat. The, uh, not the sausage, the. Okay. I'll take you. I got more meat inside. I got more, more meat than rice, look like. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and taste. Mmm. Mmm. Yup. It's hitting. This hit me, this rice hit me. Mm. Don't need no salt, don't need nothing. Season well, got this chicken right here. Mmm, rice season real good, like the smells, got the herbs and stuff. And the sausage, man. Okay, I'm with this. I'm with this, mm-hmm. Mmm. Let me try one of these plantains. And plantains. Okay. Mmm. That's sweet. That's sweet and good. I got a savory note to it too, like a like a beefy savory, like like it was cooked in like on on, on beef grease or something. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's sweet. Um, the te texturally good, you know. I like it. I'm with it. Yeah, I, I, I get this from the um, I get this from the uh, A. And you know what I'm saying? It's good. In terms of is La Ola popping or dropping? All right, blood sausage. Not really my thing, but I can see it being somebody's thing. Wasn't bad, wasn't terrible. Got the uh, Colombian sausage. The little Colombian sausage was, you know, it was hitting. It was hitting. You know what I'm saying? I get that a plus, a, a plus or whatever. The teacher own wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling it whatsoever. Everything else, you know, like the the the, 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 uh, the meat patty, it was cool. You know, it was alright. It was alright. It wasn't great. You know, kind of used a little more seasoning, but you know, I got potential. You know, what I'm saying I got potential. Overall, they're not dropping. They're not dropping. But they ain't exactly popping. They like maybe we can slide it. But listen. They got a much, much larger menu, fam. So like their their menu, they got a lot of different options. You know what I mean? They got um, Colombian ice cream. They got they got a lot of different things in there you might want to try. I definitely recommend checking them out. Okay, so on that note, um, on that tip, I can say they're popping because you know they work they work chicken out. You know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say don't no, you don't don't go here. Definitely show them some love. You know um, they just not the greatest experience I was picking maybe in my mind I had it hyped up to be more than what it was but it was not bad it was not bad La Ola you should definitely you should definitely check them out if you want some um, Colombian cuisine now, this is my first time having Colombian food so I can't really gauge and say like is this a good Colombian restaurant as opposed to just generally been a restaurant you know what I mean like I can't say I can just say how I, I how I experience the food I don't know if all Colombian food is cooked similarly or I just maybe need to try somewhere else, you know, to get that uh, experience I was looking for. I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, if y'all know any spots around Houston, you know what I mean, some good Colombian spots uh, that I should check out, all right? But look, I ain't gonna make this video too long. If you're new to the channel, like I said, you know, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if you like the video, smash that like button, man. That way the algorithm can know that Houston Eats is doing some things out here, man. You know what I mean? But hey, look, like I said, I'm not going to overtalk this thing. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all get to y'all wonderful lives, back to your loved ones. So thank you for checking this out. Take care of yourselves. I love y'all. And until next time, peace.